In this video, we'll take a look at how you can fix issues relating to your Realtek driver. Nothing worse to find your audio or microphone has suddenly stopped working and it being related to your driver. Here, I'll show you how you can resolve this. First thing you want to do is do a search for control panel and hit enter and change the view settings up in the top right hand corner of the window from small icons to large icons. Here, you can see my Realtek audio panel which is labeled as DTS audio control. You may also see this as Realtek HD audio manager depending on your computer but both bring you to the same Realtek audio panel. So to try and fix this, let's close out of this and do a search for device manager and we'll open this. Here in device manager, you want to expand the sound, video and game controller section. And here you'll see your Realtek driver. Right click on the driver and go to properties. And then when in the properties of the driver, you want to go to the driver tab at the top. Here you can see all the details for the driver. And if you select the driver details button, you can see all the files that are used in order to support your Realtek driver. In some cases, files could possibly be affected when installing Windows updates or even other applications. Let's OK out of this window. The first way we can try to fix this is by trying to update the existing driver. So go to update driver. And here you'll see two options to do this. If you go in to search automatically for drivers, Windows will search your computer for the best available driver and install it on your device. But as you can see, Windows is saying that I already have the latest driver installed. So if we go back to the previous window and go to browse my computer for drivers, this will allow you to locate and install a driver manually. Go down to let me pick from a list of drivers on my computer. Here it shows two drivers and one of which is the Realtek driver which we're looking for. Let's select this and go to next. This will go off and install the driver. Once complete, this will tell us that we need to reboot the computer first in order for the driver to work. So let's close this and the driver window. When prompted, select yes to restart your computer now. Once you've logged back in, see if this fixes the issue. If you're still having an issue with the Realtek driver, then let's go back into Device Manager. And we'll go back into the properties of the Realtek driver. And back into the Driver tab. The next thing you want to look at are the dates and version of the driver. You can see the driver date here is from 2015 and the associated driver version is 6017561. So the second method here is to go to the Realtek website to get the latest driver. So let's close out of these windows. And we'll open up a browser. And I'll do a search for Realtek driver Windows 10. From the results, we'll go to the first link here. And if you scroll down the page, you'll be able to see the latest drivers for different versions of Windows. Now I'll be downloading the third option, which is for the 64-bit driver on Windows 10. If you need to check if your operating system is either 32 or 64-bit, then you can go to Start, Settings, System, and About. And you can see here under device specifications that the system type will show us either 32 or 64 bits, but most of the time this will be 64 bits. So we'll go back to the Realtek site and I'll download the 64 bit driver for this. We'll agree to the terms and conditions and I'll pop in my email address and download the file. Enter the capture and the download will start. Once that's finished, let's go and open the download. 
This will start to extract and prepare all the files. So now let's install the files by selecting next. Here it tells us that it's a two step process where first it needs to uninstall the current Realtek driver and reboot the system. Then secondly, it will install the driver. So select next to start the uninstall of the current Realtek driver. When complete, select finish to restart your computer. and log back in. Automatically this will load the installation setup window for the new Realtek driver. Select next to start the installation. Again, once this is completed, select finish to restart your computer. And log back in. Okay, so see if your audio is now working and if this resolves the issue. If you're still having issues with audio not working, then the third way to try and fix your audio issue is to go directly to your computer vendor's website for the driver. So open up a web browser. And for me, you can see I've already done a search for HP drivers. I'll click into the HP site. Then I'll go to software and drivers. Then select for your computer whether it's a laptop or a desktop. To get the exact model, put in your serial number. You can retrieve your computer serial number by going into command prompt. Once in command prompt, type in WMIC space BIOS space get space serial number. This will then reveal your serial number. Once you have that, then go back over to your web browser and pop in the serial number. When you submit that, it will go off and retrieve all the drivers for your computer. Once this loads, let's expand the audio driver section. You can see there's two versions of the driver here. If we expand them out, you can see the details for the drivers here. And both are for Windows 10 with the latest being released in May 2020. You can cross reference the release date and driver version by going back into Device Manager. Let's go into the properties of our Realtek driver. And you can see that the driver date along with the driver version is from 2017. So with that, let's close out of this and go back over to the web browser. I'm going to go ahead and install the latest release for my computer, which is 6.0.8924.1 from May 2020. Select the download link on the right hand side of the driver. This will go ahead and download the driver. So that's downloaded. Let's close this window. And we'll then go and run the downloaded file. Select next. And agree to the terms. Then it gets you to choose a location where it can save the driver files. I'll keep the default location and select next. That's the file saved. So select finish. This will then prepare for the driver to be installed. Select next to go through the wizard. And as you can see, this goes through the same uninstall install process of the Realtek driver. So I'll speed up this process so you don't have to go through it again. It will uninstall the Realtek driver, then reboot then install the Realtek driver and reboot again. Okay, so now that the new driver has been installed, this should hopefully resolve your issue. Let's go into Device Manager to check the driver. So you can see that the new 2020 driver has been installed. And if we close out of this, you want to go and check your audio inputs and outputs. 
and you can see that they all used a new driver. Let's close out of this and we'll go to control panel. Here you can see the DTS audio control panel or depending on your computer it may be shown as Realtek HD audio manager. Let's go into this and here you'll be able to see all the controls for your audio. You can set different volume levels for your playback and recording devices along with other sections for listening experience, recording experience and advanced settings. So let's close out of this. If we open up Explorer, we can go into the C drive and locate where the driver is installed. Here it's in Program Files, Realtek, Audio, and HDA. And if we open up the RTK NGUI64.executable, you can see this is the file which loads the DTS audio control panel. So let's close out of this. If you go down to the speaker icon on your taskbar, right click on it and go to open sound settings. You can see the output device is using the Realtek driver and further down your inputs are using the Realtek driver as well. Let's close out of this. If you right click on the speaker and go to sounds this time, go to the playback tab and you can see the speakers and headphones are using the Realtek driver. The green tick symbolizing it's your default device being used. As I only have one playback device, it will show this as the default anyway. And if you go to the properties of the device, it will show you that you're using the Realtek driver. Let's close out of this. The last thing to check is to try and stop the issue happening again through updates. Go to control panel. then into devices and printers. Right click on your computer in devices, go to device installation settings. Now it asks you, do you want to automatically download manufacturers, apps and custom icons that are available for your devices? You want to change this to no. This should stop any unexpected updates being applied which could prevent your audio to stop working. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more tutorials.